Hey guys, welcome to uh, I guess this week's bonus video. Uh, we're actually releasing um, our regular video like we release every week Tuesday. Uh, today is April the 4th, it's uh, Monday and uh, we just decided to do this bonus video for you guys. In this area of Laj, which I'm in right now, it's usually where we usually come swimming. Uh, so you can see around here, it's just it's a faja, and it's a, it's where the volcano, when it erupted in this area, just kind of flattened out. Okay, it's like a flat area. That's what basically a faja is. It's probably one of the lowest parts of the island, and St. George has lots of these fajas around the island. They have the most. Okay, some of them you can, some of them you can't even drive in. I have a few cottages. Some of them have nothing on them. Uh, beautiful uh, areas to hike, and here I'm. Here, as you can see, I mean, right now today the tide was out, so you can see uh, it's very shallow and uh, just brilliant. You can see just boulders of rocks, small rocks, and uh, yeah, this is what uh, a volcanic island looks like, basically. And here in Lajish and around Pico and other islands, this is in abundance, and a lot of people come here because of it. As you can see, I'm right in the middle of lava. Beautiful volcanic matter. Beautiful here, called basalt, lava. There's different words for it, but anyways, we're on Pico Island. For those of you watching this for the first time, in the Azores, one of the nine islands. Azores is uh, the seventh region of Portugal. I'm Carlos, Laura's not here today. She's uh, working on editing tomorrow's video. We decided to do this video just to um, give you a little bit of an update. Uh, obviously, uh, some of you have heard that there's some seismic activity in the island next to Pico, St. George. And because we film our videos basically two weeks in advance, sometimes you know this, this has been materializing for the last two weeks. So the video you're gonna see tomorrow, actually we filmed it around two weeks ago. We were getting some comments, people, oh, okay, are you aware of this? Yeah, we are, at least except uh, the video was a bit older. So we decided just to put this one in there give you a little bit of information what's going on we're, we're obviously not experts we'll put two links in there anyone who wants to keep up to date uh, maybe you have family here or you're just a tourist or expat uh, whatever reason it is we'll put the um, the links on there so basically for those that don't know Azores uh, are nine islands they're literally on top of this mountain range huge mountain range called the mid-atlantic ridge which I've mentioned in previous videos but you could be watching this for the first time and these are the tops of that range, of that mountain range in the, in the mid-Atlantic. Um, so Pico is 250,000 years old, maybe a little bit more, the youngest. And then you have one Santa Maria is about 10 million. And so it's volcanic. I mean, these islands are like Hawaii. Uh, they're like Tahiti. They're like islands in the Caribbean that are basically like volcanic like this that have erupted in the past. Canary Islands and I can go on New Zealand. I can Iceland. I mean, it's just... This is the way Earth is basically formed over time because there is a bit of seismic activity. I just, I just wanted to put it out there. Obviously, we try to do this real time, but uh, we just want to be um, basically share our experience. And right now, our experience is keeping an eye on the, our neighbor, Saint George, right? So, uh, yeah, they've had about, uh, since March 19, if I'm not mistaken, they had about 26,000 uh, little tremors. Most of these you don't even feel. The biggest one was about 3.6, and there's also one around 4. Uh, in the ma in the Richter scale magnitude, so the rest are like under two. You don't even feel it. Uh, but people did. There were some people that came over to Pico or neighboring islands if they had family to stay with. They're probably still here. I know people. Some people have gone back as the tremors were less frequent, but it was still an, an alert. And I think out of five it was a four. When a four meaning, just be ready if anything happens. It's controlled. And um, again, these earthquakes kind of happened during. It happened before. Just to give you something quickly here. Uh, 1957, which was one in Fayal, that was quite big, it kind of extended the island there. 1964, 1980, 1990s. And in these cases, basically, unless I'm, I'm uh, not correct, um, no one died, that they're worn well in advance and uh, well prepared. And I think that's the same situation now. We have no other reason to hear otherwise, to know otherwise. So I just think it's, um, you know, people are pretty calm. I mean, there's people that actually wouldn't even leave the area that, that they're feeling more of these tremors, which is the Valish area of St. George. 
And they just say, we're just going to say we're used to it. So, you know, that's the kind of thing. Because when something like this happens, even people that don't know each other from the opposite island, the neighbor, uh, they just welcomed their homes. I started seeing posts as these frequencies increased and people had to, were given the option to leave. Yeah, we got a house here in uh, the Pico. We have a house here in Fayal. We have a house in, uh, feel free, just contact us. Everything's ready. Come and stay with us until things calm down. And this is the beauty of it. I think this is with the, the village mindset. This is just, it's, again, it's, another, it's something else that's in our DNA. And this is what the, the world needs more of. You're the, the neighbor helping the neighbor, you know, uh, love thy neighbor. I guess that's uh, that, that. There's a song or a movie or something or, or source, but it's very. Um, you notice that here quite a bit, even without these events, just in normal times. And but when something uh, like a, a potential of an eruption or earthquake or anything, uh, every, you know, there's m most of these people step up and help each other. On the March 19th, we uh, had gone uh, with a, f a couple of friends we've met here now. They're actually followers, Jolene and Darren. They invited us to go with them on a, on, um, to check out this amazing cave system, actually a tube, lava tubes. Uh, it's a cave that's about 100 kilometers long. Uh, only, we only see about five kilometers of it. And sure enough, I mean, I think shortly after, it started getting more frequent. And I, I don't even remember if I, at that point, I knew there was anything going on. But it kind of matches well where tomorrow you will see it. You'll see the, the way these islands are formed. It's quite amazing. Um, and there's people that just take holidays because of the volcanic origin. They, they like to check out the lava coast of, uh, you know, again, like Hawaii and places like that. And the Azores has an amazing lava coast. I mean, I'd probably, I don't know, they may be the best in the world. I'm not sure. You can comment on there if you've seen other places, if you've been here and you've been to other places that compare to this, because this is quite extensive. And right now I'm just in the middle of just a little piece of it. Uh, this is all lava. It's all created. And um, yeah, so uh, going on those lava tubes, I mean, being in there in total darkness and all this, I mean, just incredible. I mean, it's self-explanatory. Tune into to the video. We're going to actually put a link also on this video. We'll release these almost uh, simultaneously. So you can go from this one and over to um the other one okay and, and we'll try to keep you up to date another thing that they're saying that it's uh why they got a, you know the alert kind of got raised is this sort of similarities to the canary islands that uh, erupted not too long ago um so um you know they started paying even extra attention and they, all the scientists that uh, usually have uh, their experts in the volcanoes and all the and earthquakes and so forth have been studying the area in saint george now before I let you go, I'll tell you my little story. <clears throat> 1974, I think, I believe, or just 73. I'm not, I can't remember quite right now, but I think it was, we're heading to Canada. We're immigrating to Canada. And just before that, major eruption. I happened to have, uh, I remember like it was yesterday, November the 1st, me and my cousins were in Somatirs uh, doing um, like trick or treat, right? So we got up to the house, we knock on the door. The next thing we hear is like this roaring noise, which I, I've never heard anything like it since just it's hard to this I even get shivers talking about it but it's just roaring noise and then lots of shaking I remember the balcony separating from the house we just ran like crazy to uh, our, our grandmother's house where my mom was with Cesar he was he was about he was just born he was like two months three months old house had some cracks on it and but that was it there was no nobody got hurt but it was very scary. I mean, I think the magnitude of this one was over 7, 7.2, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, it was quite a few years ago. And, uh, yeah, people had, the army came. You had put, the, they set up the tents just to make sure, you know, that everything was passed, all the tremors. Uh, some of my family came actually to Laj. Because Laj is here, usually don't, they don't feel a lot of this. It's, some, it's always specific parts of these islands, right? Some islands might, not, might go without tremors for eons. So, um, anyway, so just thought I'd share that with you. Uh, it is a pretty uh, scary but wild. Uh, when you look back, it's like you, you're small. You know, that's where you get the sense of, you know, at that age, I was, my, I was probably nine, that you feel like you're, what, you have no control over it. It's just the earth. It's Mother Nature doing its thing, you know, and um, making reference also to Hawaii, the big island. I think it's still erupting there and uh, it's become a tourist. I mean, people just want to see this experience. They want to feel it. You know, it's just a, the raw power of um, the earth.
you know, nature. So anyways, check the links because a daily, the government lists uh, whatever's going on. Tune in for the, our excursion that we did into, I guess, the center of Pico.